What do you want? You trying to steal my label? Hmm? I've labeled one of these oak trees. A Carl Ferris Miller. Anyway. No, no, no. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Drop that. That is. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Are you going to put it back? Are you going to put it back? Are you going to give it to me? Are you going to give it to me? <laughs> give it. <laughs> oh, I caught ya. Let go. Let go. I don't want to cut you. Let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> you were so bold. You're very bold. Oh, okay. The rest of my audience is here and behaving. I'm going to go and plant this big leafed oak tree. They're very soft leaves. And this is, uh, I think this is a red oak. So there we go. This one I grew from seed. This one I was given. So there we go. Okay, off to plant oak trees. No, and you are not going to get this label. Nope. They're beautiful. So, this is my new tree plantation. I've been working on this for the last six months or more. Slowly putting up stakes, slowly putting up fence. These are made gates from the recycled cooperative timber. This is an electric fence, it's not on. And I was given 200 small trees, spindle, rowan, gilder rose. And I've also planted ash, oak, bird cherry, sorry, yeah, bird cherry, normal cherry, and some oak trees. So that is where these guys are gonna move to. There's already an oak tree planted, but this is an additional one, and this is an additional one. So these are the remains of that huge horse chestnut that exploded one winter day during a storm. So I am making a plantation around the log pile, so it'll create a really good habitat. So that's the aim. And so, you know, it's things like this that are, those of you who contribute to my Patreon account, this helps finance it. You guys who are paying into my Patreon account 
have helped finance with the purchase of the stakes, the fence, etc., etc., the materials. And yes, I got the trees for free. Um, and, uh, but you know, a lot of the trees took time and effort. And it's like my Patreon account is, uh, in essence, you guys who contribute to my Patreon account are employing me to do things like this. And there's already bird wildlife. Just saw a bird flitting around in there. So it's gonna, it's creating a fantastic, uh, little woodland in the middle of a field. Okay, there's larch trees around. There's one, two, three, four larch trees. Up there is a little bit of a grove of hawthorn and ash and beech. And there's a copper beech that we planted some years ago. And there's another copper beech right down there as well. I'll walk you around this once I open the gate and go inside. So here is, this is a Gilda rose. Oh, look at the bumblebee. So this is a Gilda rose here. And see, I've planted them all around. Now there's a lot of thistles. I've got to come and weed out a lot of the thistles. This is the oak tree that I planted in the new year. This was the tree of hope. Myself and other friends went out and planted a tree despite the pouring rain on New Year's Day as a tree of hope. We each did it, my friend Dee and another friend of mine, Catherine. So along here, there is Gilda Rose, Spindle, some cherries, and then there's this oak tree. I'm mimicking a woodland and how it would develop but I'm accelerating it in that I'm planting all these. They're not growing from seed, or excuse me, a lot of them have been grown from seed. And a lot of them, this oak, for example, I grew from seed. So these are a huge diversity. There's a rowan, more Gilda Rose, another rowan. This is the oak tree that I just brought down. I'm going to be planting here. It is far enough away from that other oak tree, but it's also in the vicinity of the other woodland trees. So I'll probably, when I get more of them, I'll plant more rowans, cherries, spindle around it as well, because this in the eventually will grow taller than them all. So you'll be able to see coming up the driveway, the gates are there so that in the worst of the droughts, I can water them. Anyway, so this is the red oak. And the bamboos are here just so that when I'm working here, I don't step backwards on a tiny tree that's invisible. So we planted this uh, horse chestnut. So that's a new horse chestnut in case this horse chestnut doesn't work. So this is a spindle here. And I'm going to plant this guy here. This guy is called Carl Ferris Miller. So Mr. Miller is gonna be planted there. And this is again, I will be pulling up all the thistles because I don't want to turn it into a thistle patch. And here's spindle. Look, the spindle is old enough that it's done that. This is a spindle that I grew from a cutting. The big spindle, like that one there, and this one here, and that one, those are all from cuttings I took a number of years ago. In here is a little oak tree that was self-sown. You see right there. So that self-sown oak tree, I was protecting with this pile of timber so the sheep wouldn't graze it. So there's a cherry and a cherry. So it's a good mixture and creating a little tree glade. And by the time these fence posts are rotten, I'll be able to take the fence down and all of this in here will be of a height that the tree, the tree, the sheep can graze under it. So now I've got to plant my two oak trees. Uh, what is he called? Miller, Carl. Maybe I should call him Carl and him over there is red. Carl, big leafed Carl, and red. So there we go. Hope is on the other side. Red and Carl. Hopefully I'll remember that.
I don't know if I will. And I don't know what we can call this one because it's a self-sown one. Maybe this should just be Bob. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I'm giving them all male names. Well, Hope isn't a male name. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna plant my trees now. I'm scraping back all the wood chip before I plant the tree and pulling up some thistles. What you doing there? I'm wondering if I leave this worm up here, if a robin will come and eat it. Because there's a robin hopping around as I'm digging. So I might leave some worms there and see if uh, it'll come and hop in front of the camera. I better hurry up. My friend has goodies. Which means we're gonna have coffee and some treats. Another worm. Let's see, did the bird take, I don't know if the bird took the other one. Maybe that'll squirm off. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop doing this because this friend doesn't like um, being filmed.
The evening light is so beautiful. Anyway, I'm coming back. My friend came, had delicious cake. We had coffee. I then got distracted by other jobs. And um, so I'm coming back this evening to show you my planting of the uh, two new oak trees where I planted them. So, 
There's this fellow called Miller or Carl Miller. He's a lovely tree. And then over here is red. Where I started digging red, there was some of the old root system of this huge horse chestnut. So I was gonna plant red there and was digging that hole and hit a dead end. So I planted red a little bit further away, but there's red. So one, two, three, four oak trees at least. I might plant some more later. I don't know, I'll think about it. Here's Hope. She's the biggest tree. I planted her, as I said earlier, on uh, New Year's Day in pouring rain. I love, in the Gilda Rose, I love the fresh leaves, the color of them. They're beautiful. Actually, they go quite well with this oak tree's leaves, the russet of that. Anyway, up along here, there's more spindle, a cherry, cherry, spindle, spindle, another cherry. I've got a load of cherries here. These are all ones that I grew. Hey you, how are you kitty? Oh look, there's several cats. I'll admit, and there's Mustard. Who are you worried about Mustard? Mustard's worried about something. You're not worried about anything now, are you? Anyway, we go around the corner and here's more Gilda Rose, Spindle, Rowan, Cherries, Horse Chestnut. That Horse Chestnut is coming up of its own. I'd planted that cherry beforehand. Anyway, here's hoping all these trees grow well and create a little woodland canopy. How are you, kitty? No, 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 come on, up. Oh. I've admit, well, you'll be able to jump out anyway. Dogs, let's go. Come on. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good dogs. Okay. Oops. That wasn't very helpful. Yeah. So this will become a new woodland area for Oven Mitt to hunt. He's very good at keeping rabbits away or in lesser numbers. He's quite the rabbit hunter, or as are you, Bear. Anyway, look at that. The light on that beech tree. It's gorgeous. <laughs> 